Hi everybody, uh, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I just want to share a little story with you and this is a story and a teaching because I feel the people that have done the shamanic work, what does our shamanic practitioners out there, would, um, would, would like this. A lady presented herself to me there a few days ago for a healing and um, she was kind of hitting barriers all the time to say she'd get so far in her life and things, things would fall down and she'd start again and things would fall down again and it's been a repetition all through her life. And she's actually in a, in a, in a bad place at the minute, really worn out and tired from it. So she came to me just to see what we could do and um, if we could help in any way. So, you know, as I do say, we, we just leave it to spirit to show us that to give us the, the guidance and to do what we need to do. Um, so, uh, on journeying out, um, I found myself on a big brown horse. I don't know whether it was the Grand Ashton or not, but it was a lovely, big, strong horse. And as I was walking along in this barren land, all that was on the ground was just dried clay. Uh, there was no vegetation, no nothing. The place was barren. It wasn't even desert. It was semi, semi, semi between desert and, 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 and just barren, whatever. Anyway, this little girl about five years of age and this lovely white dress came up beside me on a big white horse. And she said, you know, I'm stuck in this land. And we were talking for a little while as we rode along. Uh, I wasn't, I thought she was a spirit that had come to help me and come to guide me. So we rode along. And she said, come to the top of the hill and I'll show you. So we got to the top of this barren hill. We looked down into the valley and we could see this lush, beautiful land below us. She said, you know, I'm trapped here. I can't get across into that land. So I said, let's drive. Let's, let's get on our horses and let's, um, let's get down there and see what will happen. So when we got down to the edge where the, where the land, the barren land ended and where the um, lush land started, there was a barrier and it, it was like entering from one country to another there was a, a guard at, at the gate or at the barrier so I was allowed through and she she was refused entry so I just told her to wait where she was so off I went on me harshing into this lovely lush land and um, eventually I found four guides four strong tall guides and they just walked in silence with me and came to the barrier and uh, on them asking permission, the, the guard relented and she was allowed with her harshing to come into the lush land. So we started to journey through the lush land, down through the valleys. It was absolutely beautiful, rivers, canyons, everything full of abundance, full of life and full of joy. And as we, as, as we went deeper into the, into the gorge or into the canyon of the place, uh, down deep in it, there was an opening in the forest and this beautiful little Girl, another girl, five years of age, actually identical to the girl that was on the horse, appeared at the edge of the, the forest. And when the other little spirit seen that, she, she jumped off her horse and she went to uh, embrace the other spirit. And on doing so, what actually happened was the two of them emerged into one. It was amazing. And this massive energy and uh, spirit evolved, this energy of this uh, beautiful woman. So then I realised that the girl I had been uh, walking with along on the horse all along was, was an aspect of it, a spirit, a spirit fragment of that woman. And also the girl in the wood was another fragment of spirit. So we brought the two together, brought them back uh, and uh, put them into the lady, did a um, um, soul, soul retrieval for the lady, sorry, kind of lasted there for a minute. And actually, uh, if you've seen the joy on her face and the life force energy that came into her, it was I was really, really honoured to do it. So, what's the lesson from this uh, little thing? And this is what I want to share with you. I call this soul fragmentation. And the reason it's soul fragmentation is because part of her soul was split in the, in the barren land and part of the soul was in the lush land. Both aspects or an aspect of the one soul part. So in time, way back in time, this lady at some level was a very, very powerful healer. And she did her work to a very, very high level. So the energies are 
the negative energies, it could be the shamans in our tribe, it could be other people that we're jealous of, or actually split that soul aspect so that her soul would never come back in, into being one again, so she could never reach her full potential in any lifetime, her soul would never evolve. So when you're out there doing the work, you know, this is one of the things you could look for. And um, keep up the work and keep going. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.